I cannot believe that it has been a whole two months since Portia Williams announced her Atlanta Housewives return. And till this day, the cameras are still sitting in the warehouse somewhere collecting dust because they have not filmed a thing. Can we roll the tape? <laughs> it's Justin Diego back oh. with another binge worthy video. And today, y'all, we have to talk about how Portia Williams just spilled so much tea about the Real Housewives of Atlanta season 16 and how it is so obvious that production is still scrambling. With these lights and cameras in front of me, I just gotta be honest, child. That's what it is, you know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. And honestly, y'all, I was so shook about Portia keeping it so real the other day when she was racking up them coins while spilling all the RHOAT on her Amazon Live, answering questions that fans had submitted ahead of time on Instagram. It was a three year break. Andy definitely said break, like our er, break and then we're gonna keep going. And you know, I enjoyed my break and okay, we're really going back to Housewives. And let's just use our brains here. These questions that Portia decided to answer out of all of the ones that had been submitted definitely means that this is the way that she wanted the conversation to go since she and her team agreed to put this information out there and we all know how. And like normally before each season, I'm not gonna lie, I'm like nervous. I don't know what's gonna happen. So we always have like a production meeting, right? And they ask you, so what's your season about? Portia, what's going on in your life? And whatever you answer is nine times out of 10 gonna be your storyline, which is basically the story of your life because they're following your life's journey, right? I was not expecting her to share all of this information with you guys. I mean, I knew that, and I think some people may have known about these production meetings, but since she started the conversation, yeah. Let's talk. Every one of you all looks fabulous, but I only have one almost legend. <laughs> Y'all, one of my sources let me know several weeks ago that Bravo had halted production again, and they were over there scrambling after an already tumultuous round of recasting and casting and recasting again that had already gone to shit after Candy Burris and one of their main prospects for their reboot had both walked away once the casting team thought that they had almost figured everything out. I can't believe it, Jesus. I can't believe it, Jesus. <laughs> yes, Katie's decision to walk away was not the plan, but obviously Bravo navigated around that. And when Portia announced that she was gonna get this divorce, Andy Cohen has already confirmed that that threw everybody for a loop. This is not, I, I, I was so surprised None of us knew any of this was on the horizon. And yes, I'm gonna tell you why. Allegedly, during Portia's initial production meetings, she was selling Bravo the dream, y'all. Promising to let them into her fabulous new life with Simon Gubadia, where we would see their fancy new lavish lifestyle. Yeah, oh, hey. it's the big girl boss. Big, boss. big things move fast. fast. Give me a round of applause. <laughs> The big girl boss, it's the big girl boss. Big things move fast. Give me a round of applause for the big girl boss. Get low, make way, rise up, let's go. Me say, get low, make way, rise up, let's go. Me say, get low, make way, rise up, let's go. Me say, get low, make way, rise up, let's go. Me say, including that new multi million dollar house trips on the private jets, and we would even get access into their visits to the motherland that would probably have been one of the big group trips for this season. So this year, I'm like, yes, I'm gonna be coming back. Okay, yes, you know, Miss Gavadia, woo woo woo, you know, all that, okay? Y'all, I know that man is so hurt. Oh, and speaking of being hurt, did you know that if you're ever seriously injured, your case could be worth millions? Yeah, I'm talking millions, and Morgan & Morgan does not entertain those lowball offers because... No! And recently, they've been on a winning streak, securing a remarkable $12 million in Florida, which is 34 times the highest insurance offer. Then there's the astounding $6.8 in New York, which was 25 times the highest offer. 
And this 26 million in Philadelphia is crazy. And that's 40 times higher. And for the number of times that I plan on going to the Cowboy Carter tour, when Beyonce finally drops those dates, I could definitely use this money. And let's be clear, all law firms are definitely not the same. Morgan & Morgan stands out as the biggest for a reason. It's because they win a lot. So if you find yourself in an accident or injured in any way, don't sweat it. Just know how to play your cards right. Taking action is key and Morgan & Morgan is ready to roll up their sleeves and fight to get you what you deserve. Oh, and here's the kicker. Working with them will not cost you a dime unless you win, which basically makes this a huge no-brainer. You can start a claim with America's largest injury law firm in just one click. Yes, it's super easy and totally binge-worthy. Just head over to www.forthepeople.com backslash binge-worthy or click the link in my description to get started. And then um, I was really like super excited and then I got really scared real quick. And then now I'm telling y'all, I honestly feel so excited. Yes, Bravo was allegedly all in and counting on Portia to help revamp the show and satisfy fans like me who have literally been begging them to make Real Housewives of Atlanta fabulous again. And I think that had a lot to do with Portia's initial announcement, clarifying that she wasn't just coming back little old Portia, baby. She was coming back as Portia who body up. Portia Williams coming back to Real Housewives of Atlanta? But who said that? But Portia Gravadia is in the building. <laughs> See y'all. <laughs> and now that things have literally gone to shit and they aren't really sure how to fix it, especially after Portia and Bravo were hit with a cease and desist from Simon Gubadia that basically banned them from filming at his Atlanta estate that Portia has allegedly been so adamant about fighting for after their split, all because she knows how important it was to Bravo to have some sort of evidence of the fabulous lifestyle that she promised the network. That's not proof. It's still debatable. But it's a good piece of evidence. <laughs> no, because how do you leave that man in the middle of the night, basically, and then demand the courts put him out of his own estate so that you can still live the fab life while he pays the mortgage? Portia! <laughs> the woman that you are. Yes, I did that. And you would do it too for a check. I was an employee. And I was going to get an employee of the month. And that's what I'm <laughs> Yeah, yo, I am a huge Portia stan. But our queen, Lord have mercy, she, she plays no games. Posting on Instagram moments after the court allegedly granted her access to their home while they figure out their whole divorce, basically slamming it in his face, talking about, I am the one, not the two, with the kiss emojis. Hashtag big P. Hashtag be his piece. Oh, that's no. In the sense that, no. you know what I mean? <laughs> I can tell that Andy and Portia have definitely been talking and trying to sort through this whole plot twist because Portia was almost quoting their conversation here. We already talked about life is life and right. I mean, everybody has their own experiences. This is my experience. And I just want to be as genuine. I think my fans and my supporters have followed me because I'm very transparent. That's not true. It's not true. You know, it does not matter if it's amazing baby girl come in when I have Pilar. It doesn't matter if it's like a crazy breakup like in my past when I first joined the show. It doesn't matter. As long as you are living your truth, as long as you are being honest with people who you're talking to, you're living a true experience of life and you are going through whatever's going on. It's not like a brick wall, boom, and you gotta be hiding anything. What's going on? If you are living in your truth, I feel like that's something to be confident about. I feel like it's nothing to be ashamed about. And I'm just excited to share my life again as a woman. She's a businesswoman, a TV star, a host, a producer, an actress, a philanthropist. She's one of the most influential, popular, wealthy women in the world. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. And I'm definitely team Portia, but Portia, girl, please do not piss us off. 
We want to see snot running down your face. We want to see you go down to the FedEx print store and print his face and glue it to a blow up doll while you lay in the bed by yourself and put the blow up dolls on your other side while you watch footage of y'all's wedding or something, girl. <laughs> Yo! Whoa! Whoa, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Yo! All right, whoa, whoa. all right. Because we have literally been out here windmilling for you in these streets because the streets are saying that it was all a scheme just for you to get this man's money, girl. Portia, do not embarrass us. And you can email me or DM me if you need help because this can't happen. After that, Portia talked a little bit about being excited about meeting the new cast, which honestly pissed me off because it basically confirms that the rumors are true about production being stalled and still scrambling. I think that my story was a little incomplete when I left and I continue to share online and all that, but I'm just excited to mix with the new girls. Um, and I don't really know who they are. I know that's probably one of the questions, but I'm just hoping there's some grown a women, you know, I'm hoping they are some women who have a lot going on in their lives and we can bond. We can, you know, really have real relationships. So, I'm really excited about that. I'm, I'm excited to have new friends. Like, and I and I say that a little bit lightly because I could be your friend or we could be your enemy, whatever that may be, you know what I'm saying? But I'm really looking forward to what I used to miss about the show, which was that sisterhood. You know, if you up, we celebrate you. If you down, we're gonna pull you up. You know, we're gonna be there for you. And so I need a little bit of both of that. So <laughs> I, um, I'm excited for that. I'm truly, truly, genuinely excited. But she did tease that they may start filming The Real Housewives of Atlanta really soon. So I don't know, it'll be revealed to me soon. They said they're gonna tell me, you know, maybe I'll start knowing something and then eh, I can't say when. I can't say when, but, but I'll, it'll be revealed to me soon. And then maybe I'll give y'all like a little wink on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and remember what I said about production really wanting to bring Fabulosity back and counting on Portia to do it? Yeah, she ain't slick. Basically trying to let Bravo know like, hey, <laughs> girl, I will do whatever it takes. Even if I have to rent that private jet myself or if she has to like go to the courts to get them to allot a couple of trips for her in her divorce. <laughs> Well, um, my dream destination. I would love to take the girls to Africa. I would, and specifically Ghana, Nigeria, South Africa. I just want, I know they've been there before, but that was the season before I joined. That was season before, before I joined. But when I tell you, every time I go, a lot of my girlfriends go to Ghana. Um, but I'm always in Nigeria. And when I tell you I love Nigeria, I love the food, I love the culture, I love everything, the nightlife, the day life. I've even gone shopping there. So I don't know, I just would like them to see the luxury of the continent of Africa. Like we can do a whole little tour if we can. That's a whole nother show. We need to do that, okay? Oh, and you know, there's amazing men there too. I mean, that's nice too. <laughs> just, I don't know if you was talking about. I like men and I like the D. I can't wait to see how they fix this, and I hope and pray that they do not let it fly. Comment right now and tell me what you guys think about all this. Are you still happy to hear about Portia's Real Housewives of Atlanta return, even though it's probably gonna be another like weird, I'm sad and I got a divorce storyline? Or do you feel like it's just not gonna give what it's supposed to get? Anyway. Y'all can be something else on Instagram. So those questions were fairly mild. Thank you. Appreciate you guys.